G'day and welcome to the wonderful world of troubleshooting, debugging and all that head stretching. So since my last video I've made quite a bit of progress on my build. As you can see I've got the LED strips mounted onto the central axle thanks to my trusty assistant, the hot glue gun. And I've got the bearing, uh, the wires connected to the bearings here which will allow power to transfer to the LEDs. If I turn the power on, they light up. Nice blue there. But before I show you what they do, I'm just going to quickly update the code. So, just plug the Arduino into my computer. Hit the upload button. Wait for it to upload. Few seconds there it's done uploading that was quick hey now I can plug it back in plug this wire into here and now it's connected my phone is now connected to the Bluetooth module so if I hit the button there we go. Look at that. Pretty cool. And if I hit that button, it goes to the next effect, which if I slow it down, you can see it's doing that. It's pretty cool. Next one just goes like that. And finally, got some blinking lights. Blinking on and off, seeming randomly, but no, it's not random. I'll show you if I stop this, plug in the power to the motor. Let's see, something like this. And I'll turn the lights down so you can see it better. As you can see, half of way, half of it, it has the blue on, half of it has the red on and it's pretty stable which side is which if I go to the next effect this one doesn't seem to be quite working properly but it's supposed to have a sine wave which you can kind of see three different sine waves with different frequencies but uh, next one just has some diagonal lines Really, the motor needs to be going a bit faster, I think, but I'll get there. And finally, the last one, there's some text. Hopefully you can see that. I'll speed it up a bit. As you can see, when it goes faster, it's getting some spurious LEDs coming on red and colours due to the, um, the signal wire. The connection of the bearing, I think, at the high speed, the bearing doesn't transmit so well, but you can still read it, I think. And if I go slower, yeah, for some reason, I think I think I've damaged the motor driver, it so it's not running smoothly now, or there could be something wrong in my code. More debugging here, but it's going pretty well so far. I've got a few different effects I can run through. I can always add more, and yeah, that's how it's going so far. And if I hit this button, it'll slow down and stop. There we are. Thank you for watching. Until next time.